Right, it's Friday evening. We've arrived in Bath. This is possibly the smallest hotel room I've ever been in, but that's okay. We're not come here for the hotel room. We've come here for the city. So we are about to head out. Rumour has it we might go near a yarn shop, but I don't believe rumours. We seem to be finding ourselves going towards a pub as well. Well, we've been in Bath about an hour, but we've managed to find something that suits both our interests. <laughs> yeah. Right, so it feels like we've been busy already. It's um, Friday evening, it's just gone seven o'clock. Uh, we got into bath just before four i think it was and then came to the teeny tiny hotel room i know i'm saying about how small it is and it is a very small room but the location is excellent we are right in the middle of things so that's a, a happy price to pay we went out pretty much straight away weather's been a bit mixed and unfortunately i left my rain hat here but i will take it with me now uh, when we go out in a sec um yeah so we had a bit of a walk around found our way up Walcott Street which is where Ian Story lives. I have bought some books. I bought the Coco Knits book, I bought the Stephen West um, sweater book and also the Kate Davis um, story, uh, <laughs> the Kate Davis story, um, her own book about how she, how knitting has helped her through illness. So uh, I've got those. A yarn purchase was made, it's my Christmas present. I didn't buy yarn just like to say that here for the record I did not buy yarn um, but that will be a Christmas present so uh, you'll see that in the knitting podcast at the end of the month uh, downstairs in reception they're offering cheese and wine don't drink wine but do eat cheese so I'll go and have a look at that himself is down there now hopefully there'll be some left and um, we're off out to dinner shortly so that'll be a nice little appetizer and yeah that's our first bit of a day in Bath and it feels like we've done stuff already so that's all good. More to follow. So here we are at the end of Friday, well I say the end of Friday, it's uh, 10 to 10, living the rock and roll dream. And we've had a very nice meal, quite spicy Nepalese food, spicier than the Nepalese food we're used to but very nice. And uh, yeah, we're both done in, so we've come back to the room where, considering the size of the room, the TV is enormous. But hey, that's okay. Um, that'll wake us up in the morning, I'm sure. And we have got very wet this evening. It was extremely soggy as we walked around to the restaurant. But um, it was forecast and... It's Britain in the winter. It's going to rain. We've got to accept that. So more tomorrow. Good morning. It's Saturday the 8th of December and apologies for any noise in the background. That's himself having a shower. Um, don't worry, I won't be offering footage of that. That's really not something you'd want to see. Um, so we're in Bath, the weather looks quite bright and I think we're due for a reasonable morning even though it's going to be a bit rainy later. Uh, the weather forecast is important as you know in all Vlogmas postcard, uh, postcard? episodes, postings, days, I don't know. Uh, yeah so we're 
shortly going to go and have some brekkie, which is breakfast for people who speak English, apologies, and see what, oh dear, uh, see what the day offers. Um, we're expecting it to be quite busy in the city at the, this weekend. Uh, not only is it the last weekend of the Christmas market, but also uh, Leinster are playing Bath in rugby this weekend. And in the restaurant last night, there were some Irish folks over. Uh, one guy was in a Leinster scarf, so I'm guessing that's what he was here for. Uh, yeah, so looks like a good day. Um, we've got a few Christmas presents to look for. You know, you always have those people that are a bit kind of difficult to buy for. You don't really know what they want. So we're hopeful of getting inspiration for something for them. Otherwise, um, I'll be buying things for me because that's quite often how it works and I like it that way. Not selfish at all. Now I did try to take some footage last night. If you saw um, Caroline from Dundonit's uh, Vlogmas post when she came to Bath for a day, she did a fantastic shot of herself with the lights behind her and she spun around and she had a big smile on her face. I tried to replicate that and mostly it's footage of me going like this making sure that the camera's working so not with a big smile on my face with my usual mizzle because I've, I've got one of those faces that unless i'm smiling i look quite somber so um so lesson learned um Two lessons learned. Firstly, I'm more comfortable with footage that I'm not in if I'm trying to show you something. And secondly, in podcasting as in life, don't try and be someone else, Liz. Just, just be yourself. That's fine. And if it's not, people will go somewhere else and that's fine too. So, <laughs> so wherever you are, I hope you're having a good day. And hopefully there'll be some exciting footage of Christmassy things. I'm still trying to feel a bit Christmassy. Um... I just, I'm not feeling the festive this year. I don't know why. Um, been hearing some Christmas music. That's kind of getting a little bit festive, but really not enough. So, um, so I'm hopeful that, you know, lots of tinsel and glitter and appalling tats will do it for me. Let's see. Is it okay, bye? No. Oh. No, 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 no okay. cameras. No. You're too shy. <laughs> too shy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Well everyone, this is himself. You've heard about him. This is the scary reality. I call him the long suffering one. But in more serious matters, we've stopped for a restorative hot drink. And this is the bag I've been carrying around for the last two days. And you can see it's um, it's in better days. So I have this morning bought a replacement and this one is going to the great bag shop in the sky. And whilst we're sitting here having our tea and coffee, I'm going to do a quick transfer of goodies, a quick decanting, if you will. Well, I don't know how it happened, but we seem to have ended up here. What a strange thing. I don't 
know how this happens to me. Just lucky, I guess. Well, it's Saturday evening in this light it looks like I'm outside but I'm not and it's been a very nice day we've been rained on quite a few times quite heavily at times but the Christmas market in Bath is a very good example we've been to quite a few over the years in various UK cities and a lot of them are frankly rubbish it's the same tap repeated four times over you know every fourth little hut and not forgetting, of course, the opportunity to buy overpriced crepes with Nutella and banana. But this one, a lot of artisan makers there, a uh, lot of good stuff. So uh, it's been quite enjoyable to have a look around. We've bought a few gifts for people, not just for me, although some for me. <laughs> and we've had a very nice day, we've just had a, a good meal. Slightly odd, this restaurant deals with kind of south america and it does occur to me that um having the cuisine of in of an entire continent seems quite a broad reach but we had a good meal so that's all fine uh back in the room now and tomorrow we'll be in bath for the morning and then head home early afternoon so the sun will probably start shining just as we're leaving Bath. But that, that's okay, we're used to this. So, good night, see you in the morning. Good morning. It's Sunday the 9th. It's our last half day in Bath. We're heading back uh, sort of about two o'clock today, I think. That's when we'll be leaving the city. And weather aside, it's been a lovely time. Uh, we have been significantly rained on. Haven't taken a lot of footage of kind of the architecture of Bath because it's been so grey and miserable and also I don't want to get rain in my camera. Um, if it's brighter today then I'll try and do some of that because it is such a beautiful place. Christmas market's been really good here and we've got a few gifts so that's lovely and just really enjoyed ourselves. Um, there was a time when if we were going anywhere our guiding principles would be the good beer guide and 
Ravelry's list of yarn shops. And although in theory I'm not going to yarn shops, I seem to have found two. Oh, what a shame. But himself is a real ale man, so we found some nice pubs. So he's had a, a good pint of bitter or IPA or something equally technical. And I've done my knitting with a lime in soda in front of me. So uh, that's as sophisticated as we get. But it's been nice, relaxing time. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of Bath. Uh, Vlogmas normal returns, so I should tell you, you know, what I've had for dinner and uh, where I'm working and stuff like that. They'll be much shorter. This will be the longest of the Vlogmas posts, I'm sure. But thank you very much for coming along on this little trip with us. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, it is a lovely city. There are some great things here and it's just beautiful. We didn't do lots of the touristy things. Um, mainly because we've done them before and we've visited previously. Beautiful though it is here, it will be lovely to be home, pick up the dog tomorrow, get a bit of normality back before the chaos of Christmas begins. Evening, we are back from our weekend in Bath. A uh, fairly smooth train journey back, bit of uh, bus replacement service because of some engineering works, but only for the last two stops, so not too bad. Now, talking of the train, something odd happened because I took some knitting and in my mind it was just kind of random knitting to have something to do on the train, and I seem to have finished a shawl. Now, obviously it needs some significant blocking, so that's what it's about to have. But I'm completely staggered that I finished this. I thought it was going to be, well, bigger, for reasons I'll explain. I'll talk all about it because it's kind of my own design based on something I've done previously. Um, so it's my own adaptation of something I've done previously. So I'll talk all about that in the podcast proper at the end of the month. But yeah, I finished. And in fact, the last part of my journey, I had nothing to do. But on the last train did have sufficient Wi-Fi to be able to catch up on podcasts so I'm almost caught up on everyone's vlogmases so that's all good so yes that's um that will be a finished object at the end of the month and I'm rather delighted by that and that's all I have to say so um yeah back to the same old boring stuff tomorrow hope you've enjoyed the trip to Bath thank you for coming along with us and apologies for the weather, but that's Britain in December for you.